Hey everybody, welcome back to the Beamer Barn. Today we're gonna to be working on my manual transmission X5 and doing something that is a super common failure point on these X5s and that is the transmission mount bushing. It's a singular mount that takes all the load of the transmission and the transfer case. So today we're gonna to be replacing mine with a brand new one, actually not OEM, but something that I got off of eBay and I'll show you exactly how to change it on your X5 as well. So let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Now the story on this bushing is that I actually had to buy it from an eBay seller direct from China and I would say it shipped pretty fast, you know, about seven days total to get here and I would say that's pretty fast coming direct from China on a boat or something. The reason being is that to get this part, I think from BMW would be like over $100 and to get one that's aftermarket, they're all discontinued so you couldn't even buy them if you wanted to and those are the ones that are more reasonably priced. So this one I got off of eBay and I think it was right under $50 and it looks to be the correct size shape and you know kind of material that we're looking for out of this factory bushing so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing the old one and then getting this one installed so let's go ahead now and get the x5 lifted up into the air and then we'll hop under it and take a look at the old bushing now here at the tail end of the transmission is the bushing and you can see it's actually integrated into the transfer case here so this is something that we're gonna have to service from underneath the car now what I like to do before we remove the cross member is we're gonna put a jack stand underneath the transmission so it doesn't like sag down too low and that way it's supported when we remove this big old cross member and that'll give us access to the bushing so once we have access to the bushing we should be able to hammer it out maybe use some heat I'm pretty sure it's already torn apart so it should come out pretty easily and then we're gonna have to press the new one in and that's gonna require a little bit of work, but we'll handle that when we get there. So for now, let's go ahead and remove the cross member and then start removing the old bushing. Now here's our transmission bushing. If you didn't see the cross members held in by three 16 millimeter bolts, you do have to remove this exhaust heat shield, but you can do that without removing the exhaust. You do have to remove the hanger over here though. And then the 16 millimeter bolts on that side, and then we've got the cross member down. So to get this bushing out, I'm gonna go ahead and probably try to put it like a Sawzall into this. And I'm gonna cut like a, what's called a relief cut. And my mic cut out here, but doing the relief cut is going to make it a lot easier to get this bushing out since we don't have this special tool from BMW to do this job. And so let's go ahead and get right to work.
Now here I have the old bushing compared to the new one. And the first most obvious thing is that the rubber on the old one is like just melting along some of the sides here. I guess that's probably heat exposure from the exhaust and just, you know, wear and tear. This is an original bushing. There's the BMW mark stamped right into it. But the new one appears to be the same size, the same shape, and everything appears to be all right with this bushing. I can't wait to see how it fits. I know from experience doing this on my E46 all wheel drive, these things are really tight. And you see what happens is on the old ones, these ribs here, they get flattened out from the pressure of being compressed in there. You know, you could use the OEM tool to get this installed, but that is kind of expensive. I don't even think I know where to get one, maybe used or from the dealership. But the other method, which we're going to be doing today is we're just going to go ahead and grease up some of the ribs here. And uh, what I, what I had to do on the last one is just kind of trim off some of the rubber, just a little bit at a time and trying to install it, tap it in until, you know, it fits all right. And you don't want to trim off too much and have like a loose fit. But once you do get this thing tightened down, it's going to be a much better upgrade than this old one, which was wobbling around. So let's go ahead now and start to install our new transmission bushing, and then we'll get everything back together. moments later. Well, oddly enough, I just took the car for a drive and for some reason it's still making that transmission clunk. But what that tells me is that it's not the transmission bushing. So that kind of narrows it down to a couple things. I already tested the differential bushings, I thought. And I didn't think that it was that, although maybe I should get under the car and have someone else engage the clutch to see if it's the differential moving. But I also think that it could be the drive shaft center support bearing and that would, you know, that being loose would cause some clunking. Worst case scenario, the most expensive solution to this would be a drive shaft U joint. Um, but I, I hope it's not a drive shaft you join because uh, although it'd be simple to replace it is kind of expensive being that you know we might have to go to the junkyard for a drive shaft or maybe get one you know off of ebay or used but buying a brand new one can be very very expensive so we don't want to go that option but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed watching us change the transmission bushing and stick along with the build if you want to find out what this mystery noise is so we can hopefully get that clunking fixed really soon so that's going to conclude our video for today and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, be sure to leave a like or a comment down below, especially if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new and you haven't yet. As always, I hope everyone has an amazing day and we will see you next time.